All right, so we're going to take a look at a simple way to replace a string value inside of a text file using PowerShell. So I have this file here called garden.txt. I planted a bunch of potatoes, and now I see that there's onions growing in it. I think the guy across the street went and planted them when I wasn't looking. For whatever reason, I have to change them because I don't want onions. So we're going to come to PowerShell, and we're going to use it to change those onions to potatoes. So first, I need to get the contents of my garden. I'm going to supply it the location of my garden and then I'm gonna pass the content of that garden as an object to the for each object and using this special variable I'm gonna have for each iterate through each line of that object and then using the replace I will have it search for this this string value and replace it with this string value so you can see they're separated by a comma now once I've changed all these values and it's finished iterating through that file I need to create a file or replace the contents of my original file but it's always good to test this stuff out first so I'm supplying set content a different file name and I'm using the force because well I just like to use the force so once we run this and we open up clean garden you'll see that all of the onions have been replaced with potatoes which is great um, and it's not not a big deal if you have a small garden but let's say that you have fields like down here you have a folder that's got a bunch of fields and those fields are way bigger than a garden and there's lots of onions I mean this dude was he must have did crop circles in a previous life or something because he just spends all his day just throwing onions in my garden I don't know what's wrong with him but either way, I gotta replace them. So I can use PowerShell again. I just need to add another loop. So like in the first example where we were looping through each line of that uh, object, in this case, we need to create a new object that contains all of the files that we wanna iterate through. So what we're doing here is we're now using getChildItem much in the same way we used getContent and getChildItem will grab all of the files um, inside of the folder that I supply it. Then I'm sending all of those files to the for each object and once again uh, we're using the current pipeline item variable. But because this current pipeline item variable represents an item within that um, uh, file list object it has different properties from that file list object. So what we can do is use this dot full name um, parameter to get the full path to the file name. So then I'm setting this variable with the full path to that file name that we're looking at. And then we're using the same code that we used above. We're taking the full, um, or we're, we're looking at content, and after we've gotten the content of that file, we're passing it to for each and we're doing the same same structure here then we're setting the content uh, back to that file so it iterates once it grabs the first file and then it replaces all the content in that file and then it goes and gets the second file and then replaces the content in the second file so we can run this now oh, let me just comment this out so I've run that. Now let's open up the field again. And as you can see, all of the onions in all my fields have been replaced with potatoes. So that is how you can use PowerShell and a little bit of looping to change a string value in either one file or multiple files within a directory. So that's it. Thanks for watching.